me. Congratulations, Freddie. Thank you. Who's got the first question? We'll start with Russ on your left. Freddie, this team has gone through, seems like everything mm -hmm. from spring training to now. Going through that, obviously you've been in the big leagues for a long time. What was this experience like from start to finish? Yeah, uh, I don't think that was on the script of how we started off this year, but I think sometimes when those things kind of happen, it just rallies a, a group of guys together. Uh, when you start supporting a teammate in his first year, um, like we did, uh, for him to go out there and have the greatest season, I think, of all time, um, pretty special. Uh, seems like we hit every speed bump possible uh, over the course of this year. And to overcome what we did um, as a group of guys, it's special. And this is... This is what we start out to do every single spring training is to win a championship. And I think it's the hardest thing to do in, in sports is because you just never know what's going to happen. I mean, we were down 2-1 in the NLDS and it easily could have gotten away from us. And to come back and win those two games and to keep it going like we did, it, it's just a special group of guys. Stay there with Clinton. Uh, Freddie, you personally have also <laughs> had quite the year. Yeah. What have you learned about yourself this season? Yeah, I mean – I would I would say a lot in so many different ways. Um, I wish I'd never had to go through what we did as a family, um, but ultimately Maximus is doing really really well right now. Um, he's a special boy, uh, but it has been a grind for three months. It really has. It's been a lot, and then obviously with the injuries at the end. Um, it makes it all worth it, kind of in the end. I mean, I'll never compare. Maximus and to, to baseball, I won't. Uh, it's just two separate things. But uh, with him doing really well now, um, it, it it does mean a little bit extra. Other questions for Freddie? We'll go to the third row on our left here, right here. Hey, Freddie. <clears throat> Excuse me. When you're on a run like the one you're on during the World Series, just can you? best describe just like what that feeling is like when you're at the plate and you're as locked in as you were for the last week yeah i mean i've been asked this question a couple of times it's you don't really think about it um when you're up there um things seem to be slowing down um that's kind of what you're just trying to do and i think obviously experience definitely helps in this situation um but when you I, I, I did a lot of work in between the NLCS and the World Series, and thankfully my ankle got into a good spot where I could work on my swing, um, work on, and I found a cue that really worked for me. Um, and I was able to slow things down. I mean, all you're trying to do is swing at strikes, take balls, and hit the mistakes. Um, and thankfully I was able to do that for five games. Go to Steve and AJ. Congratulations, Freddie. Second time yeah. for you. C can you, though, talk about – if you can take a step back, I know you know your abilities. You've been a great player since I taught your dad. You know, when you were growing up, you were Thank always you. probably the best. But can you talk about when you realize what you have done on this stage, the four home runs, back to back, to you know, four, yeah. four straight games, the walk off, which is going to be, you know, it's going to be an iconic thing forever. What does it mean? Is it hard to comprehend what, what you have now achieved at all? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to comprehend because we just won about an hour ago. Uh, I haven't really thought about all that. Um, but sitting here now, it, I mean, I've just been blessed to be able to play this game a long time and um, be in certain situations because of the group of guys, the organization, just from top to bottom to be put into a situation. I mean, I, I got asked about the RBIs. I mean, RBIs are because there's guys on base, you know, that's my teammates. Um, so, but yeah, to come through in those situations, I mean, that's what you dream about as a kid, you know, and doing that in the World Series and yeah, I, I, it's hard to talk about right now, but maybe in a few days and I've let it settle in, I'll have better answers for you. But right now I'm just ecstatic. <laughs> go to AJ in the front row, Freddie. Freddie, if we could go to tonight's game, when you're down 5 nothing yep. in the fifth inning and Cole's pitching as well as he is, what is the mindset in the dugout and how do you kind of get to where you get so to? So after we, they scored three in the first, I mean, every half inning when we came in, we were just like, just get one, just chip away, chip away. And obviously we didn't do that for the first couple innings, but – in this game, when you're giving giving extra outs, you gotta you gotta capitalize, and that's what we were able to do in that inning. Um, 
I know they gave Volpe an error on that play, but I've, if you slow it down, you see how Kike ran to third base. I mean, that's what set up that play, him having an unbelievable base running IQ there. And just to capitalize, you got to get the big hits in the big situations, and we were able to do that in that in that inning. So once you get it back to even, 5-5, five, five, you know anything can happen. And I mean, I hope everyone is talking about the job Talk did tonight. I mean, we had a bullpen game yesterday. And Jack only went an inning and a third, and we made it through that game. Um, that was one of the best games I've ever seen managed. Um, that was special. And for Walker to want the ball in that situation, I saw him in the fifth inning walking down with his glove and that look in his eye. And Blake Trinan, what he, the job he did tonight, I, we could just go on and on. There were so many, like, we, we didn't, we won it because everyone was in that room and contributing from day one. And, it's just it's just special to be a part of. We'll do two more for Freddie in the fourth row. Hi, Freddie. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. Um, can you take us through that fifth inning uh, from a player's perspective? Like, what was the feeling in the dugout? You know, entering that fifth inning, being down five zero, as everything was, you know, taking place, and then the momentum shift. Yeah, I mean, Garrett was throwing the ball great. I mean, he still threw the ball great the whole time. Um, it, when Mookie came up and hit the squibber and was able to beat it out, um, you, you could just feel the excitement. And obviously, I was coming up next, and you just want to try and keep the line moving. Um, I got down to two strikes, and I was able to foul off that changeup, which was huge because in those situations, you got to foul off pitchers' pitches. And I got one right there, and I was able to foul it off and see another pitch, and thankfully hit the ball up the middle. And then credit to Tao, that, that's right on right against Garrett Cole is a very tough at bat. Uh, to put it into the gap like he did, um, just to get back. When you're given extra outs and you capitalize in that kind of a game, that's huge. And for us to get it back to even, um, you could just feel the momentum just coming along. And bullpen piece after bullpen piece, doing their best they can, um, giving us, keeping it close. We know what kind of offense we've had and we do have, and we were able to come through again in the eighth inning. And we'll take a last question in the third row in the right. Freddy, what does this victory mean to you after a few days of Fernando Valenzuela's death? Yeah. Um, I, it's hard to put into words. Uh, my stepmom is from Los Angeles. Um, she grew up watching Fernando, um, what Fernando means to the city of Los Angeles, and not just Los Angeles, to baseball fans around around the world, I would assume. Um he brought Fernando Media, and it was electric. I obviously wasn't alive during um, that, but to see what he meant to so many people when I, being around him the last three years, um, I wish he was here. Um, I'm glad he's he's up there probably with my mom, my, my and jumping up and down right now. So uh, I'm glad we were able to bring it home. Um, kind of a little bittersweet, but I'm glad we were able to do it for Fernando and his family. Freddie, congratulations! So happy for you yeah, and your family. Appreciate it.